Welcome back guys, we're going to look at strength of materials and the forces that are acting on those materials and why they need to be strong. Alright, so let's have a look together at strength of materials. First little thing that they mentioned here on the side is talking about cross bracing. We'll see a little picture of it just now. But basically the idea is structures that cross each other in an X shape and they just add a whole lot of strength and reinforce the structure. Um, okay, so materials... Um, are constantly under uh, uh, the need to resist forces like um, tension, compression, torsion, and shear forces. Um, the beams uh, that used to be used in construction were completely solid and were very heavy, uh, very difficult to move around, very difficult to work with, very expensive. Now we've designed a whole variety of different uh, materials and shapes that keep the strength, but you can see there's a lot less material involved, so it's a lot lighter and a lot easier to work with. So very, very clever. So we've got examples of things like R-beams and U-beams and L-beams and circular beams, square beams and T-beams. And All right. Then what are the forces that we're talking about? Well, you're probably aware of a lot of these. For example, tension is this whole force of pulling apart. So when an object is pulled in opposite directions, then we get tension. When the forces are pushing together or squashing or compressing together, that's compression force. There is a little quick picture of that cross bracing that I was talking about. You can see how it's helping to strengthen the whole structure. And then the other force that they mention on here is torsion. And torsion is like a twisting, like if you were twisting a ruler in your hands. Forces opposing and twisting in opposite directions. Here is a little quick picture of a clothes hook, for example, where there's too much weight on it and it just simply snapped. So that is actually shear force. So another example, shear force is a guy on a skateboard, for example, and he could shear off one of the wheels or shear one of the trucks and break the skateboard. Um, shear force is a force that tries to snap or break materials apart. So you can see that this force is acting down and it could uh, definitely cause damage to the material. All right, so that is uh, strengths of materials and the different forces that are acting on them. Thank you.